Hello, everyone. Uh, we will see more examples related to the NFA to the DFA conversion. So epsilon NFA to the DFA conversion. So this is the question which was asked in AKTU 2018 and 19 examination. So let's uh, draw the NFA for the given epsilon NFA. So Q0 is the state for which I'll show the transition first. So epsilon closer of Q0 means all those states to which I can reach by only getting a symbol epsilon. So that will contain Q0 obviously because it, the state can move to itself by taking X or epsilon. With the diagram, it is clear that Q0 can move to Q1 also and it can move to Q2 also by only taking a symbol epsilon. Okay. So the epsilon closure for Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. So Q0 on A, it is not defined. Q1 on A, it moves to Q0 state. And Q2 on A is not defined. So the epsilon closer for A, uh, phi will be phi. Epsilon closer of Q0 will be Q0, Q1 and Q2. This has already been defined by us. And epsilon closer of phi will be phi. So this is the transition that we've defined. Now, epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0, Q1 and Q2. We already have computed that. So Q0 on B moves to Q1. And Q1 on V moves to Q2. And Q2 on B is not defined. So Q1, epsilon closer of Q1. So to those states which I can move by only taking epsilon. So Q1 can move to only itself. So epsilon closer of Q1 is Q1. And then the epsilon closer of Q2, since there is no epsilon transition from here, so it can only go to itself. The epsilon closer of phi will be phi. Now for C for the transition with symbol C, so epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0, Q1, and Q2. On getting a symbol C, Q0 moves to Q2. On getting a symbol C, state Q1 moves to Q2. And then on getting a symbol, a small c, okay, so q1 also moves to q0. You can see that the q1 moves to uh, q2 and q1 can move to q0 also by taking a symbol small c. Now uh, q2 on getting a c, this is undefined. So if you will take the epsilon closer of q2, so we already have computed that is q2 only. Epsilon closer of q2 is q2 only. And epsilon closer of q0 is q0. Q1 and Q2. Now we'll see the transitions with Q1. Now epsilon closer of Q1 is only Q1 because this can move to only itself. Now Q1 on A, Q1 on A, this moves to Q2, sorry, Q0. So Q1 on A moves to Q0 and the epsilon closer of Q0 will be Q0, Q1 and Q2. Now, uh, epsilon closer of Q1 is Q1. On getting a B symbol from Q1, I can move to I can move to Q2 state. And the epsilon closer of Q2 is Q2. And then epsilon closer of Q0, Q1 is Q1. On getting a symbol C in Q1 state, I can move to Q0 and I can move to Q2 also. Epsilon closer of Q0 is Q0, Q1, and Q2. And epsilon closer of Q2 is only Q2. All these things we already have computed. Then we are going to see the transitions with Q2. Epsilon closer of Q2 is Q2. On getting a symbol is small a, it does not move anywhere. And epsilon closer of this would be phi. Similarly, Q2, epsilon closer of Q2 is Q2. On getting a symbol B does not move anywhere, and epsilon closer of this symbol will be phi. Now, epsilon closer of Q2 is Q2. On getting a symbol is small c, it goes nowhere. And Q2 on uh, epsilon closer of phi will be phi. So we are ready with the, the epsilon closer. So we can write the transition table for this NFA. 
So Q0 is the start state on getting a symbol small a and symbol small b and small c also. So I will have to define the table for the three symbols a, b and c. So Q0 on getting a symbol small a. So you can see that these are the transitions. So I can write it as Q0, Q1 and Q2. And then on getting a symbol small b, I can move to Q1, Q2. We have to take the union of all these states that we're getting in the epsilon enclosures. And then Q0 on small c moves to these states, which is actually Q0, Q1 and Q2. And then I'll show the transition from Q1. So Q1 on getting a symbol small a moves to Q0, Q1 and Q2. On getting a symbol small b, it moves only to Q2. On getting a symbol small c, it moves to Q0, Q1 and Q2. We will have to take the union of all these. And Q2 on getting a symbol small a moves nowhere. On getting a symbol small b, it goes nowhere. And on getting a symbol small c, it goes nowhere. So this is the transition table for the NFA. So since we already have the NFA, I can draw the DFA for this. Now let's draw the DFA for this, for drawing the DFA. Let's take the symbols A, B and C from Q0. Okay, let's, let's decide about the final states also for the NFA. The final state in the uh, given Epsilon NFA was Q2. Since I can reach to state Q2 by getting a symbol Epsilon from Q0. So I'll say that the Q0 is also the final state. Now I cannot reach to Q2 only by getting Epsilon. I can reach to Q1 by Epsilon, but I cannot reach from Q1 to Q2 by the Epsilon. So that's why I'll say that Q0 and Q1 are the final states. Okay. So the Q0 leads to Q1, Q0, Q1, and Q2. So I'm making a state new state, which is named as Q012. And uh, by getting a symbol B, I will move to Q0 and Q1 is Q1 and Q2 state. So I'm writing it as Q12 state. And by getting a symbol C, I'll move to Q0, Q1, Q2. I'm writing it as a new name, Q012 state. So there are two new states that I found here. One is Q012 and one is Q12. So I'm writing it here and I'll show the transition with these. So Q012 on getting small a. So on a small a, Q0 moves to Q0, Q1, Q2. It moves to Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q2 moves nowhere. So the union of all these will be Q0, Q1, Q2. I can write it as Q012. Similarly, on getting a symbol is small b, Q0 moves to Q1, Q2 state and Q1 moves to only Q2 state and Q2 does not move anywhere. So that's why I'll say that uh, the union of all these will be Q12. Now Q012 on getting a symbol is small c. Q0 moves to Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q1 moves to Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q2 moves nowhere. So the union of all these will be Q0, Q1, Q2. I'm writing it as Q012. Now state Q12 on getting a symbol small a. Q12 on getting a symbol small a. You can see here that Q1 moves to Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q2 moves nowhere. So the union of all these can be taken as Q012. Q12 on getting a symbol small b only moves to Q2 and Q2 moves to nowhere. So the union of these two will be Q2. This is a new state. So I'll write it here in the DFA also. Now Q1 and Q2 on getting a symbol small c moves to Q0, Q1, Q2 and 5. So the union of these two will be Q0, 1, 2. Now Q2 is the new states on A. Q2 moves nowhere. So if it is if it moves nowhere, so I'll write it as the dead state D. Similarly, Q2 on small b is undefined. So I'll write D, dead state. And it, no, it moves nowhere by taking the symbol small c. So I'll write dead state. Now you know that the transition of the dead state will be to itself by taking a symbol small a, b, and c. So 
So we are ready with the uh, DFA transition table. Let's draw the DFA. So Q0, which is the start state. Let's define the final states also so that we don't need it later. So Q0 and Q1, Q0 and Q2, they are the final states. So any of those states which contain Q0 and Q2 will be the final state. So this contains, this will be final state. This also contains that, so this will be final state. This also contains, so this will be the final state. And Q2 also is a final state. So all these four states are the final states. So let's draw the DFA. So the Q0 on getting a small A symbol moves to Q0, one, two state. And by taking a small B symbol, you move to Q, one, two state. On getting a small C symbol, it moves to Q012. Q012 on getting a small A symbol remains at itself. Q012 on getting a small B goes to state Q12. And with C symbol, it remains at itself. And then Q12 state on getting a uh, symbol a small A moves to Q012 state. 0, 1, 2 on getting a symbol, sorry, uh, Q, Q, 1, 2 state on getting a symbol, small b moves to state Q2. And Q, 1, 2 on getting a symbol, small c moves to 0, 1, 2. Now Q2 on getting a, b, c moves to a dead state. Let's say this is the dead state. So either it gets A or B or C, it will go to the dead state. And then if I am at the dead state, I get A, B or C, I will remain at the dead state only. So these all states are final states, except the dead state D. So this is the DFA for the given NFA. I hope uh, you must have understood the conversion and the conversion rules. We will meet again with the new questions which has been asked in the AKTU examination. Thanks for watching.